Here is a brief show through of your six berth Kia motorhome. We suggest that you get familiar with your vehicle before your holiday so it leaves you time to enjoy every moment of your Kia experience. Your keys. The remote locks and unlocks the driver, passenger and vehicle cabin door. To unlock, push the open button. To lock, push the lock button once and twice to deadlock. The third button on the remote has no function. Do not leave the keys in the vehicle. We advise that you always carry them with you to avoid being locked out. In the glove box, you'll find a first aid kit, Ford vehicle manual and Nova stickers to seal stone chips on the windscreen. Under the passenger seat, you'll find the fresh water hose and we'll explain in more detail when you'll need to use it. The jack is located under or behind the passenger seat and the tools are located in the driver's step compartment. The main circuit breakers are located behind the driver's seat, that's the beige box with the clear cover. The smart charger, that's the black box, is responsible for recharging the house batteries when driving and you might hear a light clicking sound occasionally. Adjust your seat to your needs using the seat adjusters. Once seated inside your vehicle, please get familiar with the layout. The headlights are situated on the right hand side. The hazard lights are located to your left. Indicators are on the left and windscreen wipers are on the right hand side. The vehicle has a six speed manual gearbox. Lift the rubber ring underneath to put the vehicle into reverse. To use the air conditioner, press the AC button until a green light appears. To adjust your side mirrors, Switch to the left or right arrow and rotate the controller. The reversing camera is located above your head and is activated when the vehicle is put in reverse. The ignition key opens the diesel cap. Turn until you hear a clicking sound when opening and closing. To open the bonnet, insert the ignition key, turn left to unlock, then right to release the bonnet. Whilst on the road, please check the oil every 2,000 kilometres. At the same time, Please check the engine coolant and the washer bottle, the one with the blue lid, and top it up with water only if required. Outside your Kia motorhome. On the driver's side, in the storage compartment closest to the driver's door, you will find the power cable, which plugs straight into the power supply at the campsite. The wastewater hose used to empty the wastewater and the toilet chemicals are stored in this compartment. You'll be able to see if you're properly plugged into the power by checking the microwave timer. If it's blinking, then you are connected. The microwave, power points and air conditioner require 240 volt power. If you've plugged in at the campsite and the microwave timer is not working, double check that the power point at the campground is working. You may wish to check another power point and double check that the circuit breakers behind the driver's seat have not been tripped. You will also find the toilet compartment and the LPG storage compartment on this side of the vehicle, which we will explain in more detail later on. Emptying the wastewater tank. Check the tank gauge inside the vehicle by pressing the test button. The freshwater tank gauge is on the left hand side and will be full on pickup. The single red light of the wastewater gauge to the right indicates that the wastewater tank is empty. The more red lights appear, the more your wastewater tank is filling up and may need to be emptied. When the tank gauge is showing full, you'll need to empty it at a designated dump station found at all campgrounds. Remove the wastewater outlet cap, take the wastewater hose out of the power storage compartment and attach the wastewater hose to the outlet. Secure the clips and pull the orange lever towards you to open the tank. Once finished, turn off the tap, disconnect the wastewater hose, replace the cap and secure the clips. Rinse the hose before putting it away. Emptying the toilet cassette. Open the compartment door and lift the green lever underneath to release the toilet cassette. Please note that the cassette must be closed off from the inside of the vehicle. If the cassette is open, you won't be able to pull the cassette out. 
The toilet is emptied via the cassette accessed through an external door on the driver's side of the vehicle. Remove the cassette from the compartment and take to the allocated dump station at the campground. At the dump station, swing the arm out, remove the cap, point into the dump station waste area and press the green button at the back of the toilet cassette to empty the contents. Put a litre of clean water into the cassette, close the cassette, shake to rinse and empty out again. Once clean, add 25 mils of toilet chemical which is stored in the compartment closest to the driver's door and add half a litre of water. Return the cassette to the toilet compartment. For hygienic purposes, never use your fresh water hose supplied by IKEA to clean the toilet cassette. Only use the hose supplied at the dump station for this purpose. Never use the dump station hose to fill your drinking water. The toilet flush gauge is located on the left-hand side of the toilet compartment and shows the level of water available to flush the toilet. The water cycle for the toilet is separate to the fresh water tank. To refill with water, swing out the water filler above the cassette and top up. The gas storage compartment is marked LPG. To turn the gas bottle on, turn the dial anti-clockwise and then clockwise to turn the gas off. Only one gas bottle is connected to the gas line. When finished, disconnect and reconnect the second gas bottle. Please note that the gas bottle must be closed when driving and does not need to be returned full. The reversing camera is located at the rear of the vehicle above the large panoramic window and is activated when the vehicle is put into reverse. All external storage lockers are not water or airtight. Please only store outdoor equipment in these lockers. On the passenger side. Filling up the fresh water tank. The fresh water compartment is marked with a red tap symbol. Check the tank gauge inside the vehicle by pressing the test button. We advise that you fill up your fresh water tank and empty the wastewater at the same time. It's also worth checking your toilet cassette at this stage. You'll need the fresh water hose which is located under the passenger seat. Open the filler cap and attach the fresh water hose with the appropriate connector. Connect the other end of the hose to the water supply and continue filling the 150 litre fresh water tank until you see an overflow around the rear number plate. Turn the water off immediately at the first signs of overflow to avoid overfilling the tank which could pop the freshwater monitor sensor. The fly screen door has a reinforced metal grid for added security. To open, first unlock the outside door using the little key, then raise and turn the handle to open. Please remember to lock the screen door when driving. Pull the entrance step out for easy access into the cabin. You must push the step back in prior to moving to avoid damage to the vehicle. If you don't push the step back, you'll hear a loud buzzer when starting the vehicle. Inside your Kia motorhome. All vehicles come fully equipped with linen and towels. There is sufficient storage space for your belongings. Let's run through the main switchboard inside your motorhome. We've touched on a few of these functions, so you should be familiar with some of them already. The gauge above the Kia logo is a battery voltage meter for the house battery, which is separate to the vehicle battery. Both the house and engine batteries are recharged when driving. If the arrow goes into the red, please plug into power in the campsite or go for a drive. Two house batteries power all 12 volt appliances such as the gas heater, water boiler, lights, cooker, grill, TV DVD and the water pump. The house batteries are under the passenger seat and are recharged either when driving or when plugged into 240 volt power at the campsite. The solar panels trickle charge the batteries during the day. The microwave, power points and air conditioning in the living area of the vehicle work only when plugged in at a campsite. 
these appliances require 240 volt power. The engine battery is under the driver's seat and separate to the house battery. Hence, your vehicle will always start even if you have drawn the house batteries completely flat. Turn the light switches on when you want to use the lights. There are two light switches on each side of the vehicle. Turn the toilet switch on when you need to use the toilet. The toilet flush is electrical and it also operates the light in the toilet. Turn the water pump switch on when you need to use the taps, including the water filter. The only switch that must be on the whole time is the fridge switch. Turn the range hood switch on when you want to cook. It operates both the range hood as well as the igniter on the stove. Turn the entertainment switch on if you want to watch TV, use the DVD player or listen to a CD. Turn the DC outlet switch on when you want to use the 12 volt charger next to the control panel. Under the rear seating area, there is a lockable safe for all your valuables as well as storage for the fan heater, bucket, washing line and dustpan. The kitchen. The kitchen comes fully equipped with everything you might need whilst on the road. Cutlery and utensils, pots and pans, crockery, and the most important glasses of the trip, the wine glasses. An electric and gas kettle, electric toaster, and coffee plunger are provided. Also included are the basics such as environmentally friendly dishwashing liquid, cleaning cloths, pot scourers, and tea towels and pegs. The microwave can only be used when plugged into 240 volt power and the instructions are in the microwave. The 130 litre capacity fridge should be on at all times. The temperature dial is located at the rear of the fridge and we advise that you keep the control at 3 for optimal temperature. Kitchen sink and drains. Please do not put any food waste, fat or coffee grains from the coffee plunger down the drain. We recommend wiping oily pans with a paper towel prior to washing them in the sink. To use the cooker. Turn the range hood switch on at the main switchboard and open the gas bottle. Lift the glass cover of the cooker. Do not lower the lid when the burners are still hot after cooking. Push in and turn the appropriate dial to the large flame symbol. Continue to hold in the dial while igniting the burner. Once ignited, hold in the dial for 5 seconds, then release. Please note, if the range hood switch is not turned on at the main switchboard, the igniter will not operate. There's a backup lighter in the cutlery drawer if required. The grill. The glass lid of the cooker must be up when using the grill. Keep the grill open and do not put plastic handles underneath the grill. Please remember to turn the gas bottle off before driving. Your vehicle is equipped with a fire extinguisher and a ladder to get up to the top bed. Above is the roof vent for extra air ventilation during hot summer months. To open the vent, turn the handle clockwise and please remember to close the roof vent when driving. The air conditioner is mainly for cooling. We recommend using the diesel heater for heating. Although the aircon has a heating function, it will cut out when the temperature is below 5 degrees. The power switch and fan speed controls are on the left hand side and the thermostat is on the right hand side. Operating the diesel heater. To heat the cabin, turn on the diesel heater located next to the main switchboard. Turn on by completely rotating the dial clockwise until the green arrow light is illuminated. When the desired temperature is reached, rotate the rotary dial slowly anti-clockwise to the comfortable level of heating required. If the heater does not start in approximately 2 minutes, turn the rotary dial off so the green arrow light is off, wait 10 seconds and then restart. If there is no green arrow illuminated when the rotary dial is rotated, reset the fuse marked heater which is located on the electrical panel behind the driver's seat. The TV manual is in the cutlery compartment and the remotes are located near the main switchboard. The CD player is also located near the main switchboard. The table works on a sliding mechanism. To remove the table, 
push the clips down, and to lock the table in position, the clips must be up. Making the beds. The first double bed. Remove the middle cushion, pull the slatted bed forward until it touches the shower and complete the setup with cushions. The second double bed. Remove the table and put in front of the passenger seat in the cab. Lift the rear couch up and move forward. Move the seat belt of the rear facing seat to the side. Pull the tag on the rear facing seat, move forward then back into position. Repeat with the forward facing seat. This bed can be made wider by pulling the sides out and inserting the extra boards stored under the seat. The third double bed above the driver's cabin. Pull out the centerpiece and fit the extra cushion supplied. The bathroom. The shower hose is used for both the shower and the hand basin which must be folded down when in use. To use water, turn the water pump switch on at the main switchboard. To open the toilet cassette, pull the white lever towards the toilet. After use, to flush, push the blue button on the left. When finished, close the cassette and always ensure it's closed prior to moving the vehicle. To heat water. If you want hot water and you're not plugged into the power, switch the water pump on and open the gas bottle. Turn the Truma boiler on. The switch is located within the living area near the bathroom. Set it to either 60 or 70 degrees. Wait for 30 to 40 minutes. If a red light appears, this means the gas did not ignite. Turn everything off, check that the gas bottle is full, and then try again. There is a 12 volt charger located next to the main switchboard. To use the charger, turn the DC switch on at the main switchboard. If you need any assistance, please call our customer service team on 0800 52 0051.